Hi, welcome to the Cat Lady Podcast, Vlogmas, day three. It's December 4th, so if uh, you have, if this is the first vlog you've uh, been popping into, I'm doing things a little day, be a day behind, so it's technically December 4th, but I'm talking about day three's uh, of admin goodies, so that was yesterday's. So thank you for joining me, and uh, yeah, day three, and I'm still doing this, so crossing my fingers. And I'm doing it the hard way. I'm recording on my camera and putting everything fun in the computer so I can add music and all that other stuff. So without further ado, let's begin. So I will start with my... So I, as you saw in the opening, I was knitting on my mini. I, 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 may, I probably won't do that every time. It was kind of fun and I was sitting around waiting for yesterday's things to upload. So depending on how long things take today, I might end up... I don't know if I'll do the same thing though because I'm trying to... Get a little change of scenery. I figured I was sitting somewhere else. I could uh, record a quick video of me knitting it up. But this is day three. Is day three's mini? And I don't know what. The, come on, this blanket's getting unwieldy, which is good. That means it's getting big. So day three's mini. I don't know what it is, but it's like orange and teal and purple, and red. Very pretty. Um, I got it sent to me from a friend in a package full of like minis. So just to explain to what I do, which I haven't done yet, uh, I knit in the ends as I go. So all I have to do now is besides, uh, so this was the, I oh, know I didn't, I didn't knit that, I knit that one in. So yeah, I knit in all the ends. So as I go along, I just have to just cut these. So all I have to do is snip those off, uh, and then they'll be fine. So the only, the only end I officially, or I don't think I end up have to knit a fish. Yeah, I don't think I have to weave in anything. I guess the only end I'll have to weave in officially is the final, the final mini. Because when I get to the end of the row, I want to. It's like it all comes back. It's like it all comes back to me when I get to it. Like I can't remember how I did it now, but once I get there, hopefully I'll remember. <laughs> but I have this end from the last row, and I think when I cast, yeah, when I cast on the square, when I get to the square, I'll grab this end and just knit, and I literally just grab the ends and I knit a couple stitches with it, and then it sticks out the back, and then I just trim it off. So my, uh, you can see all the little ends poking, kind of hanging out, but, and then you can see on the front where I do carry the yarn, see the little bit of the, the purple kind of shows in the white, but it's a scrap blanket, and no one's gonna, no one should be looking that closely, and it doesn't matter, it's my blanket, I can do what I want. So, I think it looks good. And that is in my jumbo blanket bag. So, yeah, this is like beyond a sweater bag. This is a blanket bag. Um, I still have a good chunk of this left, too. Uh, usually what I do with these ones is I uh, divvy them up to my friends. Because, again, I try not to use duplicates right now, since I don't have to. Um, eventually, I'm sure I will. I need to calculate out how many squares I need. I did it once before and I forgot. So it's 24 across right now, so I I kind of put it on my bed and tried to calculate how tall it needs to be. So I'll have to do that again and write it down somewhere so I can kind of keep track of how many squares. Maybe next, I say this every year, but next year I need to work on it more. So we'll see. So on to, uh, to a shock to my knit, my knit that I grabbed of the day, my project of the day, I guess. Old project. Um, and I'm going to wear these today, but again, I'm not putting them on my feet. I'm not gonna show my feet off. But I am going to wear these around the house because I like these. So these are my one and only pair of worsted weight socks. And they're kind of like slipper socks. Um, I made them kind of shorty. I made them shorty because I, I, have a, I should have enough yarn left of the same one to make a second pair if I'd like, which I should. And actually I think I'd make them a little bit snugger. So I should have enough yarn because they'll be, they'll be a little narrower. Uh, this was gifted to me by my good friend Jen, formerly the Uncreative Crafter Podcast, also known as Storm Coast on Instagram. So she is one of my besties, um, and she sent me this yarn a while ago. And because I we had talked about worsted weight socks, and I thought that sounded super cozy, and it, it's it's got nylon in it, so it's appropriate for hard wearing. And it, the yarn is uh, Regia Eight Ply, Schockenmeyer. Um, it's a vanilla sock toe up, fish lips kiss heel. That's that's my typical sock recipe, just a vanilla sock. I do need to do some more pattern socks, but uh, I like, I don't know, I like socks to be mindless easy knitting. So and I always do toe up. Uh, I always do the fish lips kiss heel. I really need to jump, step out of my comfort zone there too. I mean, they work, uh, they fit. And then, uh, I still, I always struggle with 
how many stitches to cast on, how long to knit, because I actually put on a pair of socks that I knit recently, and uh, they're snug, which I like them snug, but then at the same time, they're almost like too snug, so I don't know. Um, so that, that is my knit of the day to share with you. Worsted weight socks. Good slipper socks, good house socks. So I'm gonna put these on when I'm done recording because my feet are cold. Um, and then I will open the mini for today. So today is technically the December 4th, so I am opening mini number four. So here is number four. Ooh, this is a good one. Ooh, and I can show off the uh, knit tomorrow. I think, who is this? Yeah, this is mine. Yeah, this is mine. So this is, I'll tell you what the yarn is tomorrow. I, I do remember, but save something for tomorrow. So here is the yarn. And I have the item that I knit with it so I can share that off. I don't know if you can see the little sparkle in there. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Oh, don't put that back in there. Put that back in my bowl. All right. So on to the next uh, advent goodies. Uh, we did not get home late, late, last night until kind of late. We went and saw Santa. So stay tuned to the end. I will put in a little video of uh, our visit to Santa. Uh, and so I'm trying not to eat and drink past like seven o'clock, but you know, we get home at like eight, 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 after eight, I think. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, by the time I cracked open my wine, it was like 8.30. So I still did it. I'm not going to like, it's, it's, it's Advent. I'm going to do it. So my wine of yesterday, which was another white or light wine. It was a pink wine. It was a rosé, Merlot rosé, wine of France. Um, uh, it is... A, aromas of ripe red fruits are balanced with fresh fruit salad flavors are flavors and a refreshing finish serve chilled at any time or with salad snacks or light fish dishes serve chilled at any time this is an anytime wine I did joke with my husband yesterday I said can I just day drink tomorrow because I wouldn't like to get it before since I knew we were staying out late he said no probably not a good idea I mean yeah, I would have been fine but I think it's kind of our fun thing we're doing together even though he just smells it he doesn't drink, so. And our cheese of the day was an aged white cheddar. So I will put a picture of the wine and cheese. Uh, and so our little cheese tidbit today is a hard, low moisture cheese that is a bit trickier than most to melt. Provides a sharp, salty, and slightly acidic flavor on top of many dishes. The longer the aging time, the sharper the flavor in general. Naturally white, some cheddar have added color. Adds richness to many dishes, including pasta, casseroles, and sandwiches. Pairs well with red wines, cured meats, and mustards. So it reminded me of, I usually buy a, a little wedge of, it's like some sort of Parmesan Reggiano or something. Um, and it's a very hard white cheese. And it's like, it's really good. It's really salty. And it's, it, that is what that reminded me of. So an aged cheddar, I guess, apparently is more sharp, which I do like the more sharp cheese and has that saltier kind of similar taste as a Parmigiano-Reggiano, whatever cheese that I like to buy. So it was good. I um, think that this has been my favorite cheese so far, and yesterday's Sauvignon Blanc has been my favorite wine so far. Uh, so that's that. And then last but not least, our little Lego of the day. So day one we opened uh, the little snowplow and it was that was David and then David's turn to yesterday was the little guy that's on there I didn't want to take him off because he put him on there so we have a little Lego guy that has a little broom for like clearing the, the little ice rink that's uh, on the display kind of it's just like a little cardboard display so he's got this little snow parka on ready to go So that's it for Vlogmas Day 3. Stay tuned for a little montage of uh, where we saw Santa. Just some kind of ambiance uh, scenery of what we saw and a couple pictures of the kids with Santa. So see you tomorrow.